Welcome to a new consumer goods review. Today we have something very good. Sesam! Hot Korean fiery noodles. Bulda Pokemon carbonara flavor. Ooh, carbonara. So we have Italian food and Korean food merging together. Mamma mia! Kamsamnida! Here we go. We have more hot Korean fiery noodles from the Samyam Corporation. And as always, we have a very nice packaging. This time it's pink and we have some nice small hearts on the cover. And as always, the logo of Bulldog Noodles, this chicken, who is enjoying his life or her life. I don't know which one is it. And made in Korea, of course. Halal, of course, for the Muslim friends. Here we have nutrients, calories, protein, how much protein? 8 protein per serving, that's good, and also fiber. There we go. Cute, look at this sauce. This is the carbonara flavor, I think. And this, this is the spicy flavor. This will burn your mouth. And then we have the actual noodle. It's not coming out, it's too big for the packaging. Okay, here we go. Nice round shape. This time it's leaving some crumbles before they didn't chop at all. But maybe I hit the packaging or something. But yeah, let's go ahead and boil it up. So first we put half liter of water and boil it for about five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes and it looks good already. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy noodles. Now we remove the water, but not all of it. We leave a couple of spoons of water for the stir fry. It said leave eight spoons of water. I think this is enough. This is about eight spoons. Or did I remove too much? I don't know. But now we put the cheese powder and the hot fiery liquid. Mmm, the cheese. Ooh, just like pasta. Very nice. Here we go. Stir it up. And for the final touch. Hot, fiery, oil, noodles. Look at this. So black. Nice. Let me taste a little bit. Ooh. <coughs> oh, it's spicy. Oh. <coughs> now we just stir fry it until it's nice. And carbonara. Mmm. It's starting to smell really good. It's kind of like those Knorr instant pasta pots. Very good smell. It's like an Italian restaurant here. Okay, I think it's ready now. Let's put it on the plate. Oh, nice. Look at this. Just like spaghetti or something like that. It's time for the truth. Let's see if Bulldog Carbonara tastes any good. Mmm, the smell absolutely great. And these are really thick noodles. Did I remove too much water? Because look, it's like really thick and thick sauce. Sauce. Ooh. Can't wait to taste it, but also a little bit afraid about the spiciness. I will do no milk challenge, zero milk while eating this. Let's go. Oh, oh. 
Uh -huh. <coughs> it's hitting like a hammer inside of the throat. The spiciness. But it's kind of good. I can definitely taste the cheese here. Carbonara. Whew. I like how you can eat it like spaghetti. You just wrap it around. I think it's supposed to be like this. No milk. As you can see in the picture as well. I mean a lot, not a lot of liquid in this I think. It's supposed to be like this. Just like pasta. Thick sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's getting hot in here. But yeah, really good flavor. And the spiciness, so far it hasn't been as bad as other bulldog noodles. I like this. Maybe the cheese is neutralizing the flavor a little bit of the spice. Oh. Mm. It has some kind of herbs on this as well. I don't know what these herbs are. The herb that starts with B, not broccoli, a basilica. I think it has some basilica. I don't know if you can see the small green things. Let's see the ingredient list. Modified tapioca stretch. What is that? Modified potato stretch. Why is it modified? Carbonata anhydrose. What is that? Mmm. Oh. Oh. I gotta take my head off. It's too hot. Goodbye, Donald Duck. Let's put it here, my friend. Donald Duck. Mm. Oh. Oh. So hot. Okay, I found it. It has some mozzarella cheese. So mozzarella, butter powder, curly parsley. So it has parsley, pepper powder, garlic powder. Yeah, garlic definitely here. I can taste it. Koreans really know how to make hot food. And Italians know how to make good pasta. And together they make this hot chili carbonara pasta noodle style. Mm. My face is starting to sweat. I wonder if Italians would like if they had this carbonara noodles. Will they be angry or will they be happy? Because Italians are always protective about their heritage food. Like if you put pineapple on a pizza, they're like, Mamma mia, pessimoni. So will they like this hot carbonara? Send this to your Italian friend and ask them, what do they think about this? Or if you're Italian yourself, leave a comment below. Oh, 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 you know, this noodle, I think is one of the best from the Bulldog. I like how it doesn't have too much liquid. I, love, I like how it has like thick sauce. And uh, the spiciness, it's really spicy, but it's not as spicy as other ones. I think if you have more water, 
it modifies and multiplies the spiciness because water, it transfers the heat. But since this one doesn't have so much water, you can eat this more easily. And the cheesiness is really good. They didn't save up on the cheese. <laughs> they really put a lot of cheese and a lot of garlic. A real carbonara. I don't know anything bad about this product. I think it's great. From the packaging to cooking to the actual taste of the product and nutrients as well. So I think I will give this one 10 out of 10. I don't see anything wrong with this product. It's perfect. I really like pasta and I like hot Korean noodles and together they make this perfect Korean Italian food dish. It's really great. Yeah. Leave a comment below if you like this video or not. And if you have tasted this yourself, what did you think about this? And always like the video, subscribe for more reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Thanks for watching. And here's a tip. If you want more protein in your noodles, add a can of tuna here. Let's see how this tastes like. Tuna and noodles, carbonara style. K tuna, the best tuna in Finland, from the city market. Mmm, look at this, healthy meal. It has protein, carbohydrates, but not the fibers. Fibers you have to get somewhere else. Let's see how the tuna version tastes like. Mmm, it's really good. I think the tuna is neutralizing the spiciness a little bit. Mmm. Bulldog and tuna can. Perfect meal if you're in a hurry. Thanks for watching.